Hi everyone, I'm Rusty. Um, welcome to my final presentation. Um, I did my internship at Our Lady of Lords Regional Medical Center. It's located over here in Lafayette, off of Ambassador Caffrey. Um, it's a very large nonprofit acute care hospital. Um, has over 186 beds, um, and they're currently, I believe there's still room to uh, grow and add on so it can get bigger if they would like it to be. Um, we give our patients access to a multitude of different clinical services including emergency services, cardiovascular, radiology, rehabilitation, oncology, orthopedic, and uh, surgery services. That's just a few of them that I could think of. Um, we also have a couple special units which were interesting and I got to work and uh, experience some of what they do over there in the burn unit and the intensive care unit. Um, I believe our burn unit is one of very few in Louisiana. I believe one of just two or three. So it's very, really, really special that we have that there. Um, so yeah, uh, if you didn't know about Lords, that's kind of just a little a uh, roundup about what we do there. Uh, my supervisor's name is Miss Cecile Broussard. She is the manager of performance improvement over at Lords. Uh, she's been there for 29 years, so she has she has a really good idea of how things run over there. Um, she gave me a lot of good information and good experience when I was with her. Um, she graduated with a bachelor's degree from ULL in nursing and then received her master's degree from Texas Women's University. After that she mentioned that she served a, uh, a small portion as a nurse over in Texas and then moved over here uh, to be closer to family and has been here for the uh, better part of almost 30 years. Um, also another supervisor which I also kind of reported to was uh, Miss Coco uh, Blanco who is our patient advocate over at Lourdes. Um, I started my internship before my internship actually began I was volunteering with Miss Coco and um, that's when I was kinda making rounds on patients and uh, just evaluating their satisfaction on the care they're receiving while they're with us um, so when I was doing that I kinda reported to Miss Coco and Miss Cecile Broussard is actually over Miss Coco so we all kind of report to Miss Cecilia. So yeah, that was uh, the two uh, main supervisors of my internship process. What do I like? I liked meeting uh, different patients. That's what I got to do almost on a daily basis. I'll talk about that a little later. I like meeting new patients from all around different places, um, different people, different cultures. A lot of the things that uh, this course uh, this major has prepared us for um, I got to use in in real life so that was really cool I got to make sure that our patients were happy and that their stay with us went as smoothly as possible then um, everyone knows when you're in the hospital it's not the best place to be you're not super happy to go to the hospital so um, just making sure that everything went smoothly was um, something I like to do. I like to, you know, meet our patients, crack jokes, make sure they know that someone is there for them um, and cares about them. That was something I really liked about doing it. Um, also meeting people from different cities, states, all around. So that was very something I like. I wouldn't say there is necessarily anything I did not like. Um, I got included in a lot of different projects. Um, and I learned a lot while I was there. Um, everyone treated me really well. I made great relationships with the people who um, were my supervisors. You know, we we got along really great. Um, so yeah, there's nothing I could really say. They let me a lot of time to do my coursework and finish my studies. They knew that was the number one important thing, and that I was there to learn as well. So uh, yeah, they did a really good job at uh, treating me well. No complaints. So we'll get into the projects that I did. My first project, um, I actually reviewed and modified a survey that already existed and I was using as a volunteer at the beginning. So, um, yeah. 
as time went on, this survey um, kind of was outdated. So there was information that my supervisors wanted information on. They wanted some other questions to be asked. And it wasn't in the physical um, paper document that they originally gave me. So what I did was kind of had a meeting with my supervisor. I uh, went over a couple things they wanted to get into the survey and I kind of recreated a new survey which just incorporated all the different ideas that they had um, originally said that they want to be in there. So that was my first project um, and it went really smooth and it's actually uh, I was using it for the next couple months um, doing my rounds on patients. The second project I created a educational flyer for a program called My Chart and I have what the finished product kind of looks like here. You can't really tell, but my chart is um, a program that allows our patients access to a lot of their health information online. Um, it's very most hospitals do have some form of this uh, kind of program. It might not be called my chart, but it's similar. Um, you can access it from your smartphone. You can request uh, and cancel appointments, view your lab, or any tests that were done. Um, and one of the most beneficial things, I think, is you can have the option to send it to another physician. So say you're seeing someone, a specialty physician on the side, you can release your, some of your information that's been, that would help them in treating you uh, all through this my chart thing. So um, part of my time there was advocating the benefits of my chart and trying to get his, our usage rates up. So we had done some changes and we had a really low usage rate. So... I thought that creating this flyer would kind of show our patients the benefits to um, signing up and getting enrolled in this program. And it went really well. Our usage rates went up. So I'll take that as it was a good job. So that would be my second project. Um, the third project I did was participating in the design and implementation of a customer service training program over at Lourdes. It was mainly for our nursing staff and we called it Back to the Basics. So basically it was at the end of it. each month we were going to get our nursing staff together when they have free time um, and just go over a couple of basic things that you know uh, may be missed, may be overlooked, but that are still important. And we just got a new director of nursing and he made a, a point that the basics are, you know, what's going to push us over the top, making sure we treat our patients correctly. And that was kind of what I did was the first stage of the program, which was do some customer service training. Um, the training predominantly dealt with something called AIDIT, which I have a little flyer. This is a flyer that we handed out to our staff. And then after they got the flyer, they went and small, saw a small video on um, kind of using it in real life situations. And after the video, they would come and we would do a small little role playing session. And I was able to be kind of part of that session. I was uh, playing the role of a patient. Um, we had a couple different scenarios where uh, they would have to communicate with me using the aided framework communication framework. So acknowledge, introduce, duration, explanation, and thank you um, are part of AIDED. And using that together will, properly will result in higher levels of patient, patient satisfaction and um, they will understand and appreciate you more as a nurse. So yeah, we did some uh, training on that and that was really, really cool to do because I was able to um, work with staff over from Women's and Children's, which we just recently acquired, and some of our education staff and high-level nurses at Lourdes. So that was really good exposure and really good to meet all of them and see all of them, and they were really nice and helpful to me and encouraging. So that was just a really good experience for my last project. Um, yeah, it was great. So daily operations is next. Um, like I mentioned before, cardiovascular emergency, basically anything that has to do with patient care, we we have something for that, and it's, it's happening on a daily basis. Um, so 
the special care units, the burn unit, intensive care unit. I kind of touched on those earlier. Um, these are all part of the daily operations of an inpatient hospital. My daily task, I kind of mentioned before as well, was meeting with patients. I did kind of rounds on patients about anywhere between 30 and 50 a day. And I kind of delivered this set of patient satisfaction survey uh, verbally to them. You know, I had a paper and I would, you know, mark down how they were answering, but I didn't really do it till I left the room. Um, everything was just personal, face to face. And that allowed me to uh, really get to know the patients on a personal level. I introduced myself as a volunteer, not as a worker. You know, it made them more comfortable. They, um, more comfortable and more easily to talk to me and let me know actually how they're feeling. They didn't have to feel uncomfortable like I was going to go tell their doctor or something like that. It, was, it wasn't like that. It was just, we're just trying to rate how they were feeling about, you know, being with us. Um, and that was good for me, you know. <clears throat> I'm a people's person. I like the communication aspect. So um, that was basically what I did every day I went in was meet with these patients and uh, make sure that our staff and they were satisfied. Another um, good part of what I did was kind of report back to my supervisor on our staff, uh, what our staff was doing really good at, what our staff was doing really poorly at, um, what certain staff members, you know, were getting glowing reviews from patients, what staff had patients saying they had issues with them. So if there was some serious issues, I would report it to the nursing manager on the floor. Um, if it was not as serious but still needed to be reported, I would go to my supervisor and that would be reported there. So basically it was on two different levels, making our patient, making sure our patients were satisfied and making sure our um, staff was up to par and doing the things we expect them to do. Like one of the questions was, um, are you keeping your patient informed on their health choices? You know, th does our patient feel like they're part of that decision making process? So um, that's just a little bit of kind of the surveys I was doing. And I would do about, like I said, 30 to 50 and then I would call it a day. So that was my daily task. So the biggest takeaway is that, um, like I mentioned before, I love communicating. I I'm a people's person. So I was kind of unsure when I got into the actual facility if if healthcare, if this was something that I really was going to be passionate about and love. And once I got in, my biggest takeaway is it's absolutely a thing I love and a thing I could see myself doing for the future. Um, I always said I wanted to, you know, help people and make people's lives better. And that uh, I realized that doing health administration work is a uh, my nat. It's 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 my way of being able to help people and uh, feel good about what my work. So um, yeah, my biggest takeaway is that the healthcare field is definitely for me um, in the future. I think um, I'm gonna enjoy doing it, and that won't make it feel like work. It'll feel like just another day. You know. So um, overall, it's a great experience. Um, I look forward to reading and watching your my fellow classmates presentations um, I can't think of anything else to say so bye see you at graduation